I mean, I know they'd have the problems, but I thought they'd work things out. Oh, it'd be nice to think that someone got a fairy tale ending. Hmm. Such a lovely old couple as well. Cute, you know, cuddly. Not that old. I mean, settled. Obviously not, not if she's sent him packing on the wedding day. Right, we don't know what's going on, so don't be spreading that. Morning. Morning. Ooh, what do you reckon, Laurel? I mean, as much as we all love Bob, we know he's a dirty dog. I reckon he's uh, been playing away again. Oh, I couldn't possibly... Speculate? Now, this is what I've been telling her. It's none of our business, is it? <gasps> she threw a wedding ring at him. How does she can? Right in his face. I mean, that's what I've heard, anyway. These things do get embellished. Yeah, well, much as I'd love to stay and gossip with you all morning, I really must get on. The thing is, if they're having problems, why get married? It's not exactly cheap, is it? Well, uh, I guess once that train's rolling, it's just hard to jump off. I've been calling you all night. Yeah, I've had my phone off. We've been worried about you, Bob. Familiar territory for me, isn't it? Oh, I've made a giant mess of things, as usual. Brenda's kicked me out. We split up. OK, that's all you need to know. Stand. Where did he sleep? I don't know, love, but I'm sure he found somewhere. He's coming back, isn't he? Of course he is. Don't be silly. You always make up, don't you? Whatever he's done, you make up. <sighs> Come on, you two. I want you dressed. This place is going to rack and ruin. I want to see Dad. And I want to see you washed, dressed and teeth cleaned. Dad! He might have lost his keys. <laughs> Oh. Hi. I hope you don't mind me popping over. No, it's, it's good timing. Come on, you two, don't turn this into a battle. Give us five minutes, please. Are you, uh, you OK? Mm. What do you win for the world's shortest marriage? Better be a really good prize. He wasn't having an affair with a binting Kettering. It's much closer to home than that. It was Laurel. Did you know? I'm so sorry, Brenda. I knew they had something. They both said it was over. A one-off, a silly mistake. I tried to get Bob to tell you. I just didn't feel it was my place. Well, who else knows? The whole village? How could you let me go through with the wedding? Did you not think I'd been humiliated enough? How was it? How do you think it was? Heartbreaking, like all funerals. I'll tell you what didn't help with you. Phoning us all the time, stressing us out. Look, I've had to leave down there with the kids. They're absolutely shot to pieces, the poor little blight has. Yeah, they would be, though, wouldn't they? Save your condolences, you. It's a bit late to be playing the concerned uncle, isn't it? It's tearing me apart, all this lying as well, you know? You and me both. You think the lives are ripped apart now? Thought you were off to work. Yeah, I was. <laughs> no rest for the wicked, eh? Did Dan not come back with her, then? No, uh, stayed in Liverpool, you know. Sean and Amelia. I guess they just need the dad, eh? We are all right, aren't we? Eh? Huh? It's just I don't want you to feel that I've ambushed you, you know, forced you into moving in with me too soon. Where's all this coming from? Nobody's twisting an arm up my back. No, I'm a grown man, make my own decisions. Well, if, you, if you're not happy, you must say, you know, if you ever want to renegotiate the fine print, then just talk to me, OK? Noted. Good relationships are all about communicating. Yeah, well, <laughs> somebody should have told that to Bob and Brenda, eh? Guess they didn't get the memo. I'll see you then. See you later. Bye. Hey, how were the ducks? Oh, the ducks? They were pretty quackers. Do you want Nah, you're all right. Come on, take your jacket off. You've got to eat something. Since who made you lunch monitor anyway? Oh, there you go. What? Nothing. Is he going to be here all day? Well, he lives here, 
So, yeah. Is that a problem? Oh, that's quite a quiet word. But you keep using him as a human shield. And I'm pretty sure his mum wants to see him at some point today, doesn't she, eh? Look, is this about yesterday? Like I say, I was just paying her back some money that I owed her. That's all. Do you know what? Actually, I think we're going to go and eat out instead. Oi, come on, you. Let's go and get that food back from the ducks. <clears throat> and don't worry, we won't feed them the bread. Come on, you, sausage. You have a sausage. Just let it go, let it all out. It's not just about vigor. It's also about control. And you have got oodles of both. Oh, you can get these down for a start. Huh? I ran into Dr. Kavanagh in Hotton. He's definitely coming to my party. And we're not having balloons. Well, then he is in for a surprise because Misty and I have been practicing <sighs> our new routine. Especially choreographed for your birthday. Oh, that is super cute. But um, maybe we can do it tomorrow because it's not really going to fit with the vibe tonight. This party just got upgraded. I've even got the caterers in. <laughs> and besides, you're on babysitting duties. Where do you want these? Okay. The kids are going to want to spend time with you on your birthday. Oh, well, they'll be all right for a few hours. And we did all the presents and cards thing this morning. And we can tell them that the, the real party is happening tomorrow. These two can prat about in the garden with them or sling on a bit of face paint. We'll call it a mini festival. Prat about? Yeah. Well, I'm planning on having a monster hangover tomorrow and that'd really work for me. How much have you spent? Um, not that much. And it is a birthday. Oh, don't let me down now, Jimmy. I practically strong arm Liam into it. I told him you were dying to see him and it had to be tonight, so get your best smile on. <laughs> Great. Mm. By the time we had some civilised company, if I have to have one more conversation about ice road truckers or Peppa Pig in Pig, I will not be responsible for my actions. You sure you don't want some company? You don't have to be brave. I mean, <laughs> we've got a broken heart first aid to get permanently brine back at ours. <laughs> we whip it out like a defibrillator. No, I'm fine, honestly. I just, you know, I really need a bit of time. All right, well... You know where we are. Sorry to disappoint. We shut today. Unforeseen circumstances. What happened, Bob? You OK? I don't know what I am. Except single. Brenda's made that perfectly clear. Why? Well, she, uh She thinks that I'm in love with you. I'm not laying this at your door. I don't expect anything from you. I just, you know, I just couldn't pretend. And she deserves better than that. She deserves better than me. And are you? Am I what? In love with me? <laughs> it doesn't really matter now, does it? Because I've ruined everything and I've just got to live with that. It might matter. Because I think I'm in love with you. So he wouldn't even open the door? Nope. Just kept saying, go away. I don't mean to be insensitive, but I need to know if I've got a job. Can't live off fresh air, can I? Oh, I'm sure you'll land on your feet. Ah, we don't want any dirty laundry air in front of our guest. But we were your guest. She's family and you're a plus one, so no. <laughs> Liam, you uh... made it! <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What are you having? White or red? We've got a cheeky little Riaka that's going begging. It's got your name written all over it. Jimmy, coat. <laughs> well, I, I shouldn't really. I mean, technically, I'm still... Oh, don't worry. We'll make sure you're within your daily units. My, uh, oh, fantastic sister will sort you out. Oh, now, there's a mission I'm happy to accept. You really must help me with these bellinis. They're just too delicious. Oh. I'm not careful. I'll be popping out of this thing. <laughs> 
I'm so glad that you could make it. <laughs> well, you did make it sound urgent. It's so lovely to have a doctor in our midst. <laughs> so how long have you been practicing? It takes years of training, doesn't it? And you still look so very young. <laughs> I, uh, not stopping long, don't worry. Just came to wish the birthday girl a happy birthday. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to borrow your man for two minutes. Oh, really? Well, just his house keys, at least. I've got to lock myself out again, what am I like? <laughs> right, yeah, no worries. I feel like I've got a bit of a poorly tummy. It's probably best I get some fresh air. Why didn't you say something? How could I? I sent you back. And if you were giving it a go with Brenda and she was making you happy... But I was just trying to do the right thing. I can't help how I feel. It's just she saw how miserable I was. You know, how my heart wasn't in it. I was, I was really trying, I was really trying to convince myself that we still had something, but, you know, I was just, I was just kidding myself. Where's that leave us? You know, if there is an us. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I want there to be, yeah. I, I want there to be more than anything else in the world. <sighs> Been onto the lab, we got bounced around from department to department, but they've sent the letter out. So we've got the results? I haven't, no, but somebody has. Recorded delivery, electronically track thing, somebody signed for it. Who? I don't know, Daz. Yeah, we can only do so much. How about we start taking responsibility for yourself? It's your mess. You deal with it. Find the letter. Need strong boundaries, decent food, you know, nice table manners, plenty of exercise. I mean, it's all about consistency, isn't it? Everyone's much happier knowing where they stand. <laughs> well, I'll know where I stand if I don't start making some moves soon. Hmm. Uh, hold it, you two. Emergency mission. Elliot needs a glass of cow's milk. I've told him he's just ushering in the antibiotic apocalypse, or at the very least going to end up with moobs, but can't make his decisions for him. Can you tell her to stop filling their heads with all this mumbo-jumbo? They're getting really restless. Angelica's down to two bars. Oh. I wouldn't dream of drinking another animal's milk, me. But then I was satiated. Mum breastfed us till we were nine. Uh, let's take this upstairs, shall we? So, uh, I believe you wanted to see me. Huh? Nicola mentioned you might still be experiencing some uh, problems. Absolutely not. Everything's tickety-boo, thank you. I know how difficult it is to talk about this stuff, but you don't need to suffer in silence. See, any worries with physiological, symptomatic... Cheesy balls! That's what we're missing. This fancy pants stuff's all very well, but... A party's not a party without some low-grade corn snacks slathered with cheese-flavoured E-numbers. Don't you think? Hey, you two. Oh. We've been worried about you. Oh, you don't want to worry about your old dad. Tough as old boots, me. <laughs> so, uh, I should have rung. I'm sorry. Are you coming home? Uh, no, I don't think so. But everything was all right. I know, I know, and it will be again, I promise you. I just need a bit of time to sort myself out. What did you think I'd do? Put them out on the street? Listen, um... I've done a very selfish thing. Again? Yes, again, yeah, because I am very selfish. And Brenda deserves much more than that. Well, just stop it then. I thought it was stopped. Are you still with her? Your dad has taken up with Laurel. Couldn't help himself, apparently. The feelings were just too strong. Dottie and Arthur's mum. 
We never meant it to happen, and we, we didn't want to hurt anyone. I'm so sorry. Well, listen, I'm sorry if I overreacted. I was just trying to look out for you, that's all. I don't need a babysitter. Well, sometimes I do, for Moses. So if you know anyone... Look, you don't need to flip your lid every time you see me speaking to someone that you don't know. She looked well, Dodger. Cos she is. She's turning tricks and robbing people and doing anything she can for her next score. That's exactly the sort of person you don't need to be knocking about with. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make her a scumbag. It just makes her a victim. And before you piled in like Captain America, she was about to give me some information about Simon. What do you want all that for? What do you think? Your dad and I will always care for each other, no matter what. And whatever happens, we will never stop loving you two. Never, ever. That's the most important thing. Now, why don't you two go and have ten minutes at the swings? <laughs> Stay together and watch that road. Everything's going to be OK, I promise. Thank you for not making this any worse than it has to be. You were telling me yesterday that you loved me. <laughs> that you and her was just a stupid little fling. That you were over. We were. Oh, you haven't wasted any time patching things up, have you? Are your precious feelings so important? You vain, selfish, horrible man. You disgust me. Brenda, please. I didn't want to hurt anybody. Did you really think that you could do whatever you liked? You could trample over my life and ruin everything we've got, everything we had together. And I would just smile and nod and go along with it. Well, if you did, you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Go on, get out. Get out of my house. I can't wait till you do it to her. And you will, because that's what you do. You'll do it again and again and again till you've got nothing and nobody. Yeah, it's a shame Liam had to skip off so early. Could throttle Jimmy for letting him escape. Uh, do you want me to do you some toast or something? Save you chewing the ceramics? No, I'll have some more wine. What are you in such a foul mood about? I thought we had a lovely evening. Oh, some of us did. Kerry had a whale of a time. Huddled up outside, whispering half the night away with Daz. What? Giving me all that blarney about his stomach ache. Certainly didn't stop him helping himself to food, did it? Thought he was auditioning for Hungry Hippos, the musical. Well, you're not saying that there. I know the signs, Nicola. Believe me, I know the signs. Well, have you got any proof? No, not really. You've got to trust your gut, haven't you? I don't know what they were going on about, but it was shady. You know, super shady. You were saying something about results. What if he's ill? What if I've got the wrong end of the stick? I mean, why would he confide in Kerry about that? Mm, I don't know. What if he's caught something off of her? Or what if she's caught something off of him? I, I don't know, mate. I, I feel sorry for her. I really do. But at the end of the day, she's a junk, isn't she? The next level liar, she'll tell you whatever you want to hear. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I know you're not. If Simon is mates with her pimp, then it stands to reason that she hates the pair of them. Yeah, or she's spinning you a line. But teeing you up to get more cash out of you at a later date. It's not beyond the realms of possibility, is it? I'm not saying she's my next girlfriend. Yeah, well, you just need to let it go. But you said yourself she's one of them. You don't need to get mixed up with her. I know. I know, you're right. Listen, we need you here. Moses needs you here. Yeah, I'm letting it go. Just watch me. She's every right to be angry. Of course she has. Still, it's no excuse going around hitting people. <sighs> There's nothing to hurt, of course, her, is it? 
Are you sure we should be thinking? Maybe we should just give it a bit of time, let the dust settle. Hey, the only thing that makes any sense out of this whole horrible mess is that I need to be with you. Either way, look, we can work through this together, but it is going to be worth it in the end, I promise you. Right, you guys, it's late. Come on, I need my bed, even if you don't. Night. Night, night, sweetheart. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Do you want me sleeping with you tonight? Oh, no, I'll be all right. Thanks, anyway. Are you sure you'll be OK? Coronation Street next, where David is in trouble with the law for missing his court appearance. So we're back in Weatherfield at 8.30. After Alan and the team bring the help to Love Your Garden at 8. And at 9, wrap up the week with the last in this special series of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire tonight, here on ITV.